What the hell is going on? You're thinking to yourself, what am I listening to? It sounds familiar, but I don't really know what it is. It even smells familiar. That's right. It's DRH, but we we, we call ourselves something else now. It's Ricker and Bond. Same podcast, different name. Get used to it. It's a whole lot better, and you're going to find out why right now. Yeah, buddy. Let's hop in. You know that new style that you're looking for? If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. What's up? Episode in a row, we play that song because <laughs> we love Drake here on Ricker and That's Bond. That's a solid song, dude. Ricker and Bond, what's up, everybody? It's the same podcast, new name. You already know the shit. If you're confused about why you Don't have this confused. podcast in your subscriptions, it's because you subscribe to us, but with a different name. It used to be Dark Racial Humor, but then we were like, nah, because Disney bought us and they were like, yo, you guys got to change that shit. And we we're like, all right, we'll do anything for money. We quit from Disney, Viacom bought us and they're like, you can't be that. And then Viacom was like, all right, we're going to do what you do. Now we're Ricker and Bond, free flowing in depth conversation about whatever's appropriate, a pro pro at the time. I'm Bon Jin. Oh, <laughs> it sounds so, so cool that, now. Did that, make, did that make a big difference? Yeah, because like we say, it's Ricker and Bond. And that's your name and then your name. Dude. Oh, that Drake, hits better. Dude. Oh, that hits harder. Okay. Call it John that, David dude. Raker. Still the same podcast. We cuss at the beginning, middle, and end. Still not doing any research before. Um, still Everything really, I was looking at everything that is, is in popular culture and everything just made me not want to read it. So I just kind of didn't read it. You know, there's male stuff going on, potentially fucking, you know, election stuff that's not cool. But, you know, it just I didn't want to read it. I didn't want to read, read it, it dude. <laughs> you all fucking read it, dude. I'm, I'm here to give you entertainment and, you know, fucking clown noise, clown noises and uh, juggling. Sometimes there's politics. Hey. What's your favorite politic? My favorite politic. Yeah. What does that mean? Exactly, dude. What's it even mean, man? I don't know. Fuck. Fun AC today. I don't think it's working. <laughs> it's like I mean, cold, but hey, the man. room is so hot still. You only got to bear with about three to four months of heat. You just, you know, just really bite down on the pillow. Get a, get a nice uh, wooden spoon. Just bite on it when you're inside. Uh, is there a, a nice courtyard in your living establishment? No. Um, well, you know, outside is probably cooler, probably a little more dirty, probably a lot more populated, probably a little more risk of disease. But I but, have to work inside. Well, Why? you know, Starbucks <laughs> has proximity Wi-Fi, perhaps? Maybe well, if you're close to it, work. you'll pick up... It's sweet, sweet signal. And uh, you're picking up the sweet, sweet signal of R and B. R and B. And say say the say the opposite of it out loud. D R H? No 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 no. Of the, the names. B and R. But with your actual names, I just didn't want to say it first. Bond and Ricker. I think Bond and Ricker is a lot less flowy than Ricker and Bond. Yeah. I think it's the N. Everybody's but like, you, why is stylized it stylized? Be the 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 B and the because it's kind of like a left to right thing. Kind of sounds like wild and out. 
Which is still <laughs> kind of annoying to say. Wild and out. Wild and out. It's Rick like and your, your tongue is just doing gymnastics like a goddamn 17 year old who's Russian. Tyler Perry's Ricker and Bond. <laughs> Medea's Ricker and Bond. I was really trying to get like bigger wrists, you know? Um, yeah, I've heard of wrists and I've heard of potentially making them bigger muscularly. muscularly, muscularly. Wrists, 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 wrists. You get some sweet veins if you're really yeah, popping are. through there. What did you do today besides nothing? Uh, oh, besides nothing? Yeah. Uh, you know, job stuff, being unemployed, being a little bit employed, but getting weird, like, salary disputes. Salary um, disputes? Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really an employee, which is a whole thing in California, We like we talked about. Last episode with Uber and whatnot, I kind of like charged a really egregious amount, and I shouldn't have done that. But the alternative for the actual hourly work is just the opposite amount of egregious. You charged so, him? Yeah. And he was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, no, very uh, uh, validly, but you know, so I, I fucking... I was like, fuck it, dude. Uh, that was a stupid move on my part. I'm going to give him what I actually did and just fucking... Wait, did you try to... Did you try to... Cook the I, books? Kind of, but I'm like technically a contractor, but a contractor who's like supposedly supposed to do hours. So, you know, it's a whole little thing. But I gave him my, my few hours that I did work for him because, you know, I was like, man, I'm not going to... That's just me lying and stealing someone's money, basically. I was like, oh, I'm not fucking... I'm not that guy. Who am I? Yeah, I was like, if someone did that to me, I'd be pissed, too. So I'd I'm be like, pissed, All right, too. Dude. I'd be pissed. What the fuck? This guy. Yeah. And, my life's you know. work. <laughs> my, my family's got to eat, and this guy this guy's stealing my life's work. Stealing food right out of my mouth. Won't even let I me don't, chew. I don't, I don't know his reality. You know, he barely knows mine. Probably but, starving. Uh, he knows your reality. He knows you're a goddamn thief and a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really lie. I was just like, I mean, I was giving you a rate and you didn't want a rate. You wanted hourly. So, I'll, you know, give you my, my shit hours that I worked for you. Oh, God. Damn. Just work your Burger King, bro. Fuck it. Nah, not trying to do that. Still have somewhat of a choice. You know, in and out managers make 150 grand a year. That's pretty cool, man. It's a lot of money. You know, part-time in and out employees get health, dental, 401ks, paid sick, and paid vacation. And burgers? And a free burger every day, a free meal a day. Really? Yeah, a free meal per shift. I don't know about the whole burger every day, but hey, man. But just the, 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 the fact that you have the, the option, option. The option yeah. of a somewhat free meal. I feel like I wouldn't like in and out anymore if I worked there, though. I yeah, I was gonna bring it up. If I smell that sweet, sweet scent that you only get sweet, sweet scent signals from if you're in there a couple times a month, perhaps, then you probably get sick of it after you're just bombarded by it. If I have to associate that smell, <laughs> with, the smell of literal with serotonin with the smell of food, I mean with the smell of work, then, yeah. which almost happened when I worked at that restaurant in Tucson. There's like an In and Out like right across the street from it. Mm -hmm. And I would always smell it. In and out, or just like food smell. I would like always smell it when I was going to work, and I was like, "Ugh." And then I would eat it after work, and I'd eat it every day, and I was like, "Man, fuck this shit." Wage slavery. Sounds like a very bad job that I should not have worked, but you know, past experience, learning experience. Ricker and Bond, the show. (laughs) Yeah. Do you want to put the show after it? Because no. I was also thinking of the podcast, the no, show. No, that's lame. Ricker and Bond show? Because then it could translate into TV. But, you know, Bodega Boys didn't do that. And if you're nah. still on a Bodega Boys platform. Nah, it's just Ricker and Bond, bro. The Ricker and Bond audio experience. Except for not, <laughs> so you, except so you, for not that last part. After it. <laughs> not that last part. Just 
R ampersand B. Ray Grand did, you, did you decide to show the whole ampersand? No, I didn't. I couldn't make it work. Well, I'm, why not? I'm, I'm so sorry. I couldn't. I tried my hardest. You see, if you look at it, mm -hmm. the fact that it's cut off allows it to fill up more. What's the word? What's the opposite of vertical? Negative space? Not Horizontal? Negative, horizontal space. And if uh, I were to put the whole thing, it would be too vertical. And I didn't want to stretch it out. I didn't want to put it sideways. And I was like, I don't know what it is. You know, it's fucking. Definitely don't know what it is. But I mean, but, context clues with how you say it out loud. Yeah. I mean, it's fucking, it's something. It's also, Rick, it's like, it's, it's Rick not... and Bond, bro. But you know what you can't do? You can't read the fucking text underneath it. But I guess that's fine. Yeah, that was kind of unnecessary. Fuck it. Does it does it make it look like a somewhat cool uh, aesthetic? By like, oh, there's something underneath. It's the coolest fucking podcast cover I've ever seen. In my I was life. looking. I mean, there's some definitely some cool podcast cover. Nah, dude, this I, is the I one. I was scrolling through Spotify. I wish we could Very, take uh, a picture together, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, uh, that would looking be cool. at. Looking at Jesus and Meryl. Uh, well, these I can't do it on my phone, but your boys over there at Earn Your Leisure use their Apple avatars. Just kind of, yeah. I hate those. Um, but yeah, Anchor. I was looking at podcast FMs. covers, man. There's a wide variety. Some are like kind of animated. You got Robin Hood Snacks, which is very flat. You got Critical Take Podcast, which I don't, I've seen before. It's a nice little cover, man. Show button, you have a nice lit bald man. Oh shit, there's Ricker and Bond. That's pretty change. nice, bro. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> did it change already? Yeah, that's nice, bro. Spotify changes almost instantly. Apple Pods now? Apple hey, man, Pods that's a takes solid rebrand. Good rebrand. Is it, Is it <laughs> yeah, dude? Is it? Yeah, yeah, thank you, nice. Disney, for that rebrand money. I looked at it. What um, did I tell you, bro? I promise, I don't know when I said it, it might have been like February. I was uh -huh. like, yeah, let's change it to Ricker and Bond. You're like, no. And I was like, all right, sit on it. And the the text at the bottom does look aesthetically nice. Does it actually? Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Yeah. Let me take a look. Oh, look at that. My last page on uh, Spotify was dark racial humor. Let me do a quick screenshot. You know, screenshot. it's interesting because in Spotify, it's a dark UX. And in Apple Pod, it's light. Um, yeah. So I kind of oh, that. that looks so clean, That's right. dude. It's nice, huh? It's nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Cue the Drake music. <laughs> baby. <laughs> I forgot to get the miles drop. I was yeah. looking yesterday, too. I'm going to call him and be like, yeah. Can you send that to me? You right know, it's, it's uh, the organic of it all. At first, uh, at first, it's a little bit of a letdown. It, it seems a little less organic. But when, once it's in the flow of things, it's pretty okay. What? Um, just the drops, the, the, the manual drops. Baby, I'm on Apple Pod right now. Yeah, yeah. What's looking it looking up, like? Looking up Ricker and Bond. And mm -hmm. Just how's it hit you? N hitting me slow does not look like we're getting any search love. I'm going to look up dark mm. racial. See, I, I didn't type humor. it in. You type in Ricker and Bond comes up. You're not so, going two ends. No one really types two ends, but it doesn't right. really matter. You see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's my name, but the first letters are switched. <laughs> so I have to stay true to that. Jen. Jen. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Bond Jen. Dude, there is. I, I, in the past, I looked up my last name on Spotify. And there's, there's a, a couple good songs by a, a man named Ricker Red with two Ds at the end of Red. And uh, I just want to, you know, give him pr free promotion, Ricker Red. If you ever want to, you know. I can't really make the best your sound right now, but so, I yeah. making a trappish beat the other day, and I got to put some reps into that if I want to do that. If you want to get her back. <laughs> if I want to impress the young ladies with the modern sound. If you want to impress, if you want to get them fucking, I don't know. Are we allowed to swear on this new show? I've already cussed I was multiple say, times. Moist. <laughs> Ricker and Bond. So I'm ch trying to, change our fucking anchor I URL mobile, it's not working on mobile it seemed quite easy oh there we go Ricker and Bond bam <laughs> bro 
That looks like what? a saw font. Yeah. What what font did you use? I don't know. I think I downloaded it a while ago for something. Great. Now I gotta make. Can I change? Uh, we can change Instagram. Can I change yeah. YouTube? After um, we just got that sick, sweet SEO too, we're really gonna yeah. shoot ourselves in the foot like that. I mean, the the foot has about three whole views in the in in the bone structure. That's right. Let's go ahead and add account. Probably you can definitely do this later. <laughs> but you know, it's a fun little thing. Like, I don't want to talk about fucking the Joke. DNC and mail stuff. Uh yeah, it was boring. Did you watch some of it? No. <laughs> so Who you cares? don't know it's boring. I'm over it. It's a little sporty. Let's just not talk about politics until December. <laughs> uh you when COVID is raging twice as hard. Okay, so now for the username on Instagram. Damn, we can go crazy with these videos. But did you see that? Uh so I don't I don't think last time a couple of episodes ago it wasn't brought up when Spotify unveiled a like uh <laughs> the, your your true test of fandom. Did you see that? No. It uh took stats of what you listen to and like uh who you listen to and how early you listened to an artist compared to the to their blow up in at least in Spotify stats. Mm. You didn't use that at all? It's pretty cool. No. Um I don't have time for gimmicks. It's a solid gimmick, dude. Everybody loves a good Spotify playlist gimmick that showed you like who your one percent uh artist is which means who who you listen to first basically i don't even need to look i know it's able it might not be and able listens to me but (laughs) able did a a specific weekend version of that um i kind of want to bring it up but it it was very uh ai dystopian ish um it was like it told you how many hours you listened to a certain song of him uh, when you first listen to it, your first weekend song, which was just pretty, pretty cute. You have a Spotify account? I sure do. Well, if you go over <laughs> to able.instagram and you have to turn off low battery mode for it, which is kind of interesting and I'm not sure why. Turn Wait, off low power mode. It tells you to turn off low power mode? You can only experience this. If your low power mode on your iPhone is off, that's weird. I've never heard of that. A little weird, that. right? Let me show you that tracking hey there, going. It's Abel, probably. Has something to do with that. Hey there, it's Abel himself talking hey, to you right. and you alone. You ready to start the experience? Yes. There we go. This is uh, uh, the alone with me in experience with the weekend, I'm assuming. Hey there, baby. Hey it's there. Me. Oh, shit. Thanks so much for listening to my music. Mm. This is the <laughs> gayest thing I've ever heard. I see that you're in the top 1% of my listeners. Uh, you know, that's what it's it is. Unreal. Please stop. The that's more you right. listen, the more I get inspired. Thanks, Abel. Thank you. No, you're welcome, man. Man, you've listened to After Hours more than 10 times. Shit, you know. That's your favorite song. Uh, after it's hours. a good, solid song. I respect that. I respect Fuck you, off, man. dude. This is scary. You can get lost in it. <laughs> I, you can get lost. <laughs> this is making me not like him anymore. And you've listened to After Hours more than five hours. That's oh, five hours, man? Honestly, Unreal. Thank you. Out of all my songs, you listen to Pretty the most. It's I'm good so song. glad it spoke to you like that. Ah, uh, thanks, man. Damn. Damn. You and I go way back. How far mm-hmm. back, Gable? You've been listening to me on Spotify since 2015. Ah, I see, you know. I remember those days. Good days. Okay, Abel, we need you to say. 2015, party and the after party 2016, the 2017. The party and the after party was my first Abel song. I'd love to get to know you since then. Oh, thanks, Abel. It's nighttime where you are. Shit, you know. I like that. Whoa. I do a lot of thinking at night. Yeah, you know. I feel more like myself. Wow. Looks like you've been listening to my records on Fridays. Fridays. That's yeah. my favorite day of the week. That's Shut cool. the fuck up. Shut the fuck Anyways, up. It's not. It's not. It's Thursday. Right this is not you, Abel. Thanks for spending time with me. You're welcome. Let me play something for you. What do you want to play? It's just blinding lights. 
Of course, go so, ahead and play your worst song. That's not the real Abel. He would never play I Blinding Lights. I love that song. He would um, never. I can't see. There's a visual aspect to it that it happened before. And it was like glitchy, you know, glitchy computer AI stuff. And some of the language was like kind of dystopian AI too, like Unreal and stuff like that. But I thought that was a pretty interesting development to the reality of streaming and AI artistdom. I would love to see the back end code for that. It was, just, uh, just was probably crazy. Parsing through your data saying, okay, say the Sunday line. Say probably they a were fun code. probably a lot of money for the weekend in his pocket. And he's going account. TikTok. He's going Spotify. He's just killing it. All right. Speaking of killing it, uh, we're going to take a break. This is Rick and Bond. Damn. What? He sounds like a a white guy rapping. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Ricker and Bond free flowing in depth conversation. Well, air is appropriate at the time. I'm Bond Janet. Whatever we want to be appropriate, apparently. Yes, because it's our show, not yours, you stupid mother effers. Coming live to you from Los Angeles. David Ricker, remote in a computer. I'm an AI. I don't exist. I am code built via Viacom, but not owned by Viacom. Just procured and exported. Only on C plus and the Notepad app. How do you code from the Notepad app, you ask? Don't ask me. I'm just a AI Notepad apper. I am owned by Viacom. Guaranteed. <laughs> and I, I love... I love to call them sir, ma'am, and say please and thank you. Yes, daddies. Um, How's your day going? So hot. So hot. We're on hour four of waiting for this AC to cool down the apartment. It's cooled down four degrees so far. Is it the window AC? Yeah. Uh, Do you have any uh, perhaps windows open? They're all open. That's, I think, your downfall. No, I'm just kidding. They're all closed. Uh, maybe uh, some blackout curtains. Get a lot of sunlight through uh, some good, some good transparent window apertures. Oh, my curtains are white out curtains, effectively. <laughs> the sun's like, let me go through, and the curtains are like, yeah, buddy, Please. come on through. Please we might, come we through. Might as well not be here. We're only here, so it's a little opaque. That's what I'm saying, boy. Say, yeah, yeah. Blackout curtains really just stop that sun from coming in. It's like Alaska in the summertime or the wintertime, whatever time that the sun is blacked out. My my good buddy Jeff, neighbor Jeff, just yeah. sent me a picture of his new puppy. Oh, shit. Super cute. Oh, his name's Alfred. Oh. Hopefully this one doesn't die. Other one uh, died. Which the one last died? one, last one died. Which one? Agnes. Oh, you I thought you meant Big her. Pete. No, nah, Big Pete is still alive. Big Pete and uh, wasn't there another one? Was Big Pete and the one Tom. you brought around? Tom. Tom. I forget which one's which, but those were those were good Jeff characters. Jeff a Jeff uh side side characters. Those are good buckos. The those best good, buckos. Those are good buckaroos. Is he still in the Shy Town? Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Coming on, on my pod, dude. I'm so <laughs> How sorry. How much intake of weed are you on or off? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about also, it. Also, a note I wanted to bring up, man. I said that I didn't. W- wouldn't want to listen to your solo pod and i would just like to apologize saying i would like to listen to your solo pod and did listen to your solo pod and i didn't want to hurt your little feelings even if hey, it didn't hurt your feelings hey like i said you, there's nothing you can say to hurt me you know this is still me retracting that mean statement doesn't matter if it's mean to you that's oh. what i said god damn it oh i appreciate it thank you for not being a fucking dick because I cried all night. No, yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, dude, I want to do a solo pod. I'm just so fucking lazy. 
do it. I know. What's your topics? I don't know. I kind of just want to interview people. That is basically what podcasting is. You know, the Bonjin program. Sure. Live from my house. Podcasting a, is a very... Uh, I guess it's a program. Unless you're fucking Chris D'Elia and the egotistic bastard. It's a very nice conversational, not not one-on-one thing. Not solo, solely solo thing. It's a wonderful yeah. outlet for conversation and veering into society and brains. Definitely. Especially for the boys out in the hall. The boys out in the hall love a good conversation about just the the reality of living as a human very macro very micro as well hello 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 what's all this then hello 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 what's all this then um damn you have any topics any what time did we start 33 any like topics 10 uh i i blatantly didn't look at anything First episode of Ricker and Bond, just trudging along. Me too. I was like, it's going to be a new new name. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Don't have to do any research. Don't have to do any prep. I regret that. Why? <laughs> because here we are. Talking. I don't want to talk about the mail. Can you see? Yeah, neither do I. That's why I didn't look up anything. So, uh, I, I, I. What are some, some intrigues about living... And being alive that are on your mind. Have you, have you, Nothing at all. Have you heard if of it, no? If it ain't goddamn media, then it ain't goddamn in my mind, baby. Have you heard of NoFap? I have heard about NoFap in the past, yeah. I stumbled upon some NoFap videos. On I think it's a, a Reddit of not masturbating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I found this one guy. And it was like no fap, uh, no fap, um, fucking ninety day benefits or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And this guy was talking, and I swear he was talking about not masturbating as if it were like a pill that he were taking, right? He was like, yeah, but he was he was like saying he was calling it semen retention. He was like, yeah, ever Mm -hmm. since I've been on semen retention, like this has been happening, this has been happening to me. I've been more focused. I've been able to. I've had more energy. I've been less socially anxious around people. Um, you know, I've, I've been able to get work done faster. Like ever since I've been on semen retention, and I've been like, I was like, what the so, fuck? Then I watched another yeah, video, and the guy was talking the same way. I was like, Jesus, is it that big? Is it really that big a thing? Not just. There's not probably like it? a. There's a line between like. Not doing, something and something being masturbating. And making it like a weird empowerment thing, which is also weird because, like, you know, sex is kind of a thing that you should probably be into. He um, was saying that, um, because I was trying to figure out like what the big deal was, mm-hmm. and he was saying, uh, well, when you can be abusive with it, <laughs> oh, yeah, he was like, he was saying, when you like deny yourself your most basic pleasure. You're able to channel channel that energy into something else. I think that's kind of dumb too. Which I think makes sense. Like I think that's good, that, dumb. You think that's, that's dumb? Just like I don't yeah. think that's dumb. It's like if you're fucking angry, and you uh-huh. want to fucking like yell, you could just punch mm-hmm. a pillow. Well, I think that's just a fucking lack of you know controlling yourself. <laughs> what do you mean? I think if you like, like there's an abstinence of it. And I think if you do it where it's like, oh, I got to completely shut out this part of the human experience, which is libido, then you're you're kind of just not in control of yourself. You're not in control of either an emotional part you're doing with like a physical action or, I don't know, some other dependency on it. Aren't you in control of yourself if you're just like, okay, That's I'm horny, like, I don't need to do this right now? Yeah, but there's kind of like, you're giving it too much power at a certain point with that, with like 
semen retention. Keep in mind, this guy was saying he was masturbating five times a day. I don't know if yeah, you Yeah, then that. you're just fucking not in control of yourself. <laughs> you're doing it abusively. Yeah, but then on the opposite side, he is not that's, doing it at all, so that, that's I control. I think that's still the same like extremity of it. You're still that's being like, an extreme action of something. Now I saw it as like... In the opposite way. He was addicted to something, and he stopped doing it. Right? Now you're kind of so just that's, addicted to not doing it. <laughs> Which is, I guess... That's, like, that's like saying, oh, I'm but addicted to have... cocaine. Now I'm addicted to not doing cocaine. Well, you put, uh, like... You're still, like... You have the, the mindset and personality of being, you know, strongholded to something. A lot of the addiction stuff is, like, you get addicted to something else. And I still think that's not... It's somewhat in control, but like you're still kind of, I don't know, not addicted to. Not. Is it like people that are like, oh, I'm not an alcoholic anymore, but I'm addicted to going to the gym? Yeah, I think. I mean, it's still kind of your. Is it bad though if it's a productive addiction? No, but you, I mean, it's still a part of your personality that you could delve into and see what's really going on. Like, what if you're addicted to work? Still think that's probably something you should introspect on. I think, uh, I think if you're doing something detrimental and you're able to replace it, like, I don't know, masturbation, if you're like fucking skipping out on family get togethers to masturbate, then yeah, that's pretty, a pretty detrimental hobby. Um, but if you're just fucking doing it once a week, whatever, but like, let's say it's that bad. If you replace that with like anything else positive, even if it's like fucking working, I think that's a good thing. Even if you're just like, dude, I used to masturbate five times a day. I'm going to fucking work five hours a day now. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I only work because I don't masturbate. I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, I mean, I agree. It's a positive. I still think it's, you know, something to look on as an individual about how you're op operating your life. Stop doing coke, bro. Don't want to, you know? Makes me feel good. And I'm physically addicted to it because of brain chemistry. Say Rest in peace, little me. peep. Little peep. All the Tucson fentanyl who have fallen to it. I wonder what Ariana Grande's up to. I don't know. I haven't heard her hit my line in a bit. Listening to some new Max Miller. Max Miller been he, dead, dude. He been dead, dude. I wonder what I was. I think I've thought about this in the past, but like people who died in their like twenties and stuff that aren't super famous, but died in their twenties, like you know, in like sixties and seventies, that I haven't heard of. Like, uh, I don't know, some like random. What's like kind of a uh, kind of mediocre person? Like, what's his face? I thought of Juice World right away. <laughs> Juice World. But, uh, I didn't know I Juice know. World was as poppin' as he is. Juice World. You could play Juice World in the grocery store, and no one would bat an eye. You could play Juice World yeah, in the background at a festival. Like it's just like he just what has are that some voice. Medium acts that have died young. That you know of right now. In our time. That I yeah yeah. Aaliyah? That's not me. Like, that's a... Like, someone that died that isn't just implanted in culture, but is implanted in your brain because you were alive to see them die. XXX and Tassian. Possibly. You know, it's funny that XXX and Tassian said that his career would be complete if he, did a, if he did a song with The Weeknd and he died... And the weekend did a song with Juice World instead. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking high pitched ass voice, able man. I just wanna see you smile. Sounds like God. a goddamn cartoon. I wish you hadn't shown me that Spotify thing. <laughs> yeah, you, you never want to get too far into the lore of an artist. It's pretty lame. Pretty lame. Oh no! Oh, I just spilled hand sanitizer all over my shit. Oh How no! You, like, you squirted it too hard. I squirted it too hard. Over your pants. Over your. It's everywhere. Hardware. It's everywhere. It's on everything. I like to uh, 
some some MacBook Pro information. Yeah. And I didn't really get all the the power information I wanted to to know. I just want to know if it can take all my shit and take it hard. Oh, it can. Uh, I also need to... probably a little bit of USB ports, more than two. Bro, just get a fucking dongle, bro. One of those big ass non Apple things. Yeah, or you could just get USB C cables, or just get a fucking dongle. But they don't sell ones that are multiple. Yes, they do. On Apple? Apple Dot doesn't. Nah, you gotta go on like Amazon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Get that shit. They're like 10 bucks. Fucking Velcro. Velcro it to the back of your computer, bro. Bam, you what? got all your ports back. Yeah. Fucking dongle with all your shit. It's kind of disappointing that Apple doesn't make it. Yeah, but you don't want them to make it. They're just going to charge three times as much for it. Wouldn't it possibly go slower if you're not going through a sick Apple hardware? No, it just depends. Um, it just depends whether it's Thunderbolt or USB Type-C. Right? Thunderbolt is going to be your best bet, but <laughs> Thunderbolt is not exclusive to Apple. So Apple just charges a lot for their name. They don't have a patent on speed. Zoink ears, Batman. They don't yeah, even make yeah. the Thunderbolt port. Intel does. So, fuck. This Asus laptop is kind of old. This video is not great. And my terrible. ports aren't working. Disgusting. Gonna have to do some CD transferring of software. Also, also I hate to break it to I you. Just free up so many gigabytes. Mac, com- Mac uh, <laughs> cameras aren't that great either. They are better than this. Definitely. Anything's better than that. I mean, what laptop... I mean, if you're getting laptop video cameras, is there a better one than Mac? Probably. There's a couple. But you don't buy a, a laptop for the camera. Uh, I mean, if it's a trade-off between, like, power, I wouldn't. Fucking... If I can run in a sick fucking focus right streaming with middling audio... I mean, Wi-Fi, then I'm okay with it. Bro, Mac is the way to go, I think. It's a way to go. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is it's definitely the an way. It's of, the way to go. Of all the roads you could take. Of all the roads, unless you want to go fucking Windows, Surface, but... Gaming? Bro. Yeah, but you don't even play games. Could, if I wanted to. But I can if I have a Mac, dude. Yeah, but if you have a Mac. I'm trying to fucking make some apps, but fucking Xcode won't download all my shit. Make some apps. It won't Give me all your IP, dude. Download Throw them out into the shit, audio. Dude. I got so much IP, you don't even know. All right, let's hit this fucking shit. Let's fucking boop, 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 boop. Masturbation. Don't do it. Wow, I can't believe we're here. It's After all these one years. Of the most impossible things to believe. I would like to point out that other other than a very public beef with Drake, that the Joe Budden podcast popped off post rebrand. You know what they used to call it? The Joe Budden experience? No, they used to call it I'll name this podcast later. And they did. It's a Joe Budden podcast. Is that what they really used to call it? Yeah. There was also a a lady who left because he was beefing with Drake. And then a mall came in. And mall's infinitely better than someone I didn't listen to before. She left because he was beefing with the guy that she was fucking? I don't know if she was having sex with Drake. Why else would she leave? Maybe no one's that big a Drake fan that they quit their job because someone's beefing with Drake. Unless might have had personal th- relations with Drake. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, also, nom, nom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that okay. how they do it? Is that? I don't know. Is that? Nom, nom, nom. Automatic, dude. Gotta be fucking Drake, dude. 
I think I'm going to go on a nice boosted board ride downtown after this. Yeah. You know, nice summer day. How's the, the sun in the air? Is it still light outside? Yeah, right now it's about 10 degrees cooler than inside this room. That's for sure. Yeah. How does this be like that? Crazy. How's this without AC? How does that even work, huh? Um, Is it because my ceilings are concave? I think that a lot of it is absorption of the sun. So, like, for, like, six, seven, I don't know how many hours a day, you're getting bombarded walls with sun, sun rays. So Probably much keeps sun. that inside. So much California sun. I can't believe how much um, California sun we get. I don't know. It's uh, just walls keep it in. Also, we, universal sun, not just California. No, no, no. It's just ours. You have another. Other states have a different sun. Everybody looks at the same moon. Nope, nope, nope. Different sun, different moon for us. Different trees. I went swimming. The tree I'm looking at right now ain't looking like your tree. I when did you learn to swim? When did I learn to swim? I learned to swim as a child. Did you go to lessons? I did go to lessons, but I didn't learn to swim in those lessons. Those lessons were jank. Yeah. I learned to swim when I would go. <laughs> when I was a... Have you ever seen the the parents put their, like, super, super young baby, like, upside down in a pool? Yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah? Yeah. That's actually the best time to teach your child to swim. They've been uh, bombarded with lady fluids all the time. Apparently, it's just an intuition for little young babies. Yeah. And, like, think you're fucking, you're getting high, you're getting drunk with your friends. You're not looking at little Susie in the backyard. She falls into the pool. She's fucking doing laps because she knows how to swim, you know? But, yeah, nah, I used to fucking, my dad taught me how to swim. He used to throw me I in the pool. I wonder if there's a different, because I know, like, people that I know from New York, which is only, like, one personally, another one online somewhere. Um, they're like, yeah, I don't know how to swim. So I was wondering if that was like a, a coastal thing, perhaps. No, it's just a rich people thing. Not knowing how to swim? Yeah. Think about it. You kind of got to like have access to a pool as a child so, mm-hmm. in some way, shape or form. But then if you're near ocean, swim. But you also got to like have someone to teach you or pay for lessons. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's kind of can't really learn on your own unless you die. <laughs> you can't learn how to swim on your own, can you? Well, I don't think you can really learn anything. I don't know anybody who has been isolated completely within their life. Then you kind of have to learn how to hunt and shit. I but think you can, like... You can, most things like, are assisted by people who have been living before you and somehow... No, I mean, like, pack. if you've never played a piano, you could, like, teach yourself some songs. I but think you can teach yourself to swim. I think if you threw someone in the ocean, their first instinct would be to panic, and that's how you drown. They're not going to be like, all right, I got to chill. I got to relax and save my energy. I mean, that's, that's how you, you not could, drown. You could think of it. <laughs> if you think of that, and be like, I would okay, be like, uh, uh. my reaction as a 14 year old teaching themselves how to swim is uh, don't panic. And then you might learn. Don't panic. You wouldn't be to paddle to stay up, but then you realize is that, that all not knowing how to swim is not panicking. Yeah, because when you don't panic, you float, and when you float, you're swimming, and then you you're able to paddle. That seems pretty fucking dumb of people. <laughs> well, yeah, because people think to stay up, you got to paddle a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. how you waste your energy, and that's how you get tired. And then when you go under... Do you have to yeah. teach dogs how to swim? No, they just know. That's crazy, huh? So I, th- I would assume that maybe, maybe you, get pre, you get kind of conditioned to not learn how to swim you could take around water. You could teach a pup. You could throw a newborn puppy in the water, and it'll start paddling. I think that's the thing with the newborn humans. Uh, not exa- no, they will not paddle. You have to teach them to float. Gotta flip their fucking sides over. Yeah, you gotta teach them to float to the surface. You know, they're not gonna be able to do a backstroke. Maybe. I don't know. Never seen a baby die in water. Really? It's great. You should check it out. Or else I can't confirm the facts. 
Drowning is probably the worst way to die. Probably. Imagine opening your mouth, gasping for air, and it just just water just fills your lungs, and then you're just done. Yeah, not very fun. Water or fire death? What do you prefer? Keep in mind, the fire death is the smoke that kills you. I mean, you're still inundated with fire pain. Yeah. But the other one is kind of mental pain. I think you ever stick your eyes in a barbecue and then it like fucks your eyes for a minute? Kind of, yeah. Imagine that, but you just can't escape it. Doesn't sound very pleasant. Doesn't sound great, Um, huh? Sounds pretty shitty. I don't know. I kind of lost my gut of what I would wanted to do right away, but let's just say fire. Oh, okay. Well, it's your lucky day. (laughs) Georgia, bring them on out. (laughs) Get a little fire burn. What? What a! I can imagine a, a, a dude. Have you ever seen pop up on Netflix a movie that was like? Um, I can't really remember the name, but the I mean the the co- the name, but the cover was like an eye and maybe a razor blade in it. And that was a part of the the story arc towards the end. Was a razor blade in the eye. They go to like some person's house for a reality show game or something. And it's just like uh, a game of Saw or something. No. I thought of that because you have to like choose how you inflict pain on yourself or kill somebody else. It's pretty hot, bro. Classic horror genre. Marvel doing a horror genre thing with the, the new mutants, I believe. New mutants. I feel like I've heard of them before. Comic wise, you man. Oh god, I'm like sorry. A horror genre rather than kind of a comic book superhero genre, movie wise. That's what's up. That's what's up. You went, you went to horror movies. You into horror comic book movies. I don't watch horror, like to watch horror. It's mm. usually I'm chilling with a fly Latina, and you know how they love horror films, right? I don't know that. Or horror. <laughs> That's funny. Horror uh, does what it's intended to do. Scare the fuck out of me. So I try to stay away from that. But yeah, if yeah. I need to put on the, the fucking the BBC jeans and I'll watch a horror film, then yeah, I'll, I'll watch a horror Excuse film. Excuse me. Excuse, me. Excuse me. Nothing. Nothing. BBC jeans. No, no, no. BBC jeans. BBC jeans. You have specific penis genes. It's a figure of speech, oh, right? Because meaning being afraid, not, being afraid to watch a horror film, is yeah, not a good look for a in BBC for a male to female thing. Is not is not BBC. You gotta you gotta have that protector. Gotta 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 channel that no fap energy into not being. I feel scared. like you have specific penis genes. Let me just put that out there. Okay. <laughs> Do you have specific penis genes? I'm not gonna deny that some of my Genes make my penis look better than others, and you know which ones they are. Yes, and, you, and when you're going out to see the the Netflix horror shows, you put on those fucking th- skin thick tight penis jeans, don't you? Well, not necessarily. Well, it depends. If I want to wear sweats, no. If I want to wear jeans, then yes, I'll probably go for those. And also, I only have one pair of jeans, so all my jeans are my penis jeans. <laughs> they are, you got you do wear skinny ass jeans. I've never worn skinny jeans. I just don't like uh I just don't like swimming in my clothes, you know. I don't, I don't like being fire breathed onto my skin. I don't like just oversized I like my clothes just to be like tied up on me. It really shows off the figure, shows off the muscles. Right. Nice, dude. So you gotta show that manly figure of yours. You gotta let them know, you know, because you know, <laughs> you, you put you put time in working out. And you want to put on your penis jeans, dude. And I shouldn't shame you for that, man. Wear your penis jeans. Wear them proud. You know how peacocks in the wild, they they show their feathers. Show their penis jeans. (laughs) They show their feathers to attract the mate. Note note to production team, episode name, penis jeans. I wonder what is the most um, outrageous thing in the wild. A male creature will do to attract a female creature. 
It's probably a dope article on the internet. Probably. Like, probably like, the, uh, build a fucking what, what castle or some shit. Is it the clownfish that carries the, the male clownfish that carry eggs? Which, which fish carries eggs that's a male? Seahorse. Seahorse. That's pretty drastic. I wonder how that fucking evolved out of most other species. It was like, now we're going to get the female reproductive, but in seahorse, we're going to have it in that penis, dude. Put, I, put these babies in your penis genes, little seahorse. I wonder why female spiders kill the male after they have sex. I don't know. You've what if that job. were the case? What if that were the case in the human world? The female just There'd killed the male. There'd be a lot of murder. A lot of murder, just innately, intuitively. I don't think any male would be like, yo, I, I don't think any male would want to have kids, right? They just got to die after? Yeah, what if the I only way to have to sex is to die after? A little more uh, brain oh. conscious to uh, think about the, <laughs> the points of reproducing. If, because do spiders not know? So they don't have they don't have a rumor mill be like, hey man, if you have a kid with that over there, that's gonna kill you. I don't think spiders care. You don't think so? I think they I think they they're, they're blindly do what their DNA tells them to do. Reproduce and then reproduce, eat, have babies. Interesting. Eat flies. That's all what we're really doing, really, right? Eating flies? Yeah. Have you, um, you're familiar with Jordan Peterson? Yeah. Um, I'm reading one of his books and he's talking about one of the things, I love these things. One of the things that separates us from animals is that we do this thing where we make a bargain with the future. Mm -hmm. where we delay gratification like for mm -hmm. example if i fucking if i save half this sandwich i get to eat half of it later mm -hmm. whereas no other human will i mean no other animal will do that or another you know yeah. think to like Jeez. there's no like animals don't have relationships with their future selves mm -hmm. and he's saying like that's that that is a um, one of the reasons why humans are able to even like think about the future and the past in the first place or do yeah, things. Somewhat, to... I mean, in other animals, animals are somewhat of a timeline with them. Well, they can like fucking like <clears throat> some animals have been observed, like save shit for like their pack. Right. But other mm -hmm. than that, like most animals, like if they, if they see food, they're going to fucking eat the food until they're fucking, until the food is gone. Usually, even if they're full. Because they're just like, hibernating on some food. Yeah, like a fucking wolf. Like a wolf will fucking chow down until that bear's like, gone. Save shit. Oh no. Yeah, bears like hibernate on it. You're doing it for like a might be a more primal thing, but somewhat future oriented. Do they do they save? Do they collect food in their cave, or do they just eat it and they keep it, it inside for of them? A future tense. Oh they yeah. Hibernate. But they're like eating it then. It's not like they're like saving it. They're like burying it and like Just going back to it later. The future timeline in your mind or in your primal mind. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying, you know? Yeah. Fucking delaying gratification. <laughs> yes, yes. Sick yeah. phrase. Yeah. Fucking yeah, what else I'm, is going uh, on? I kind of, uh, that's the thing I agree with kind of it's kind of the control thing doing this in an emotional way saving your nut until after no, just like <laughs> no and by nut I mean semen needing instant gratification yeah fuck what do you <laughs> yeah, delay fuck. what what do you delay sick dog <laughs> um I, food kind of I kind of have a fasting ritual um, which kind of permeates another controlling of life some people delay brushing their teeth until after they talk to their friends yeah that's a little less of a of a 
oriented thing for the pretty shitty control. pretty shitty thing to do you know hey man individual lives fuck you if you don't brush your teeth in the morning i don't care yeah. buy a toothbrush and do it solid stance yes <laughs> mouth health is good Math house is good, but also only, only because do it, it for other people that, too. Yeah, yeah, no. Not only for yourself. No, 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 it has to be for <laughs> you got that human interaction, dude. And you yeah. your breath, dude. I'm offended. I'm offended. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, damn. You brought that up a lot of times. Because people just have bad breath, dude. It's like fuck. Yeah, they do. It's like sometimes people do have bad breath, Bonch, and this is true. Yes. Get that dead tooth fucking removed, Susan. The bacteria in your mouth. It's all up on your tongue, dude. Scrape your tongue, you bitch. (laughs) Remember to make your health in your mouth. And also, subscribe to Rick and Bond on Apple (laughs) Podcast. Only Apple Podcast. I know there's a lot of people Uh, listening on Spotify, but you don't matter. Nope. Because you can't even subscribe on Spotify. Follow us on Spotify, though. You can do that. That is basically subscribing. I think it's the exact same thing. Goodbye, boys and girls. It's the first episode of the internationally renowned podcast, Ricker and Bond, colloquially known as R&B. Apple should change it to follow because subscribe implies paying money. It's probably to put that in your head. for. So should YouTube. (laughs) All right. Thanks for listening. See you on... Um, Friday. Friday. Fucking bitches. Yeah. Enjoy the life. Huh.